everyone, and welcome back to Socks for Souls. So for this week's video, I wanted to address a question that someone had asked me um, recently, and it's about shelters. So this video is all about shelters. Shelters all vary depending on what their location is and who they serve. For example, a family shelter might be a lot different than a shelter that helps people who are dealing with mental illness. I actually have two examples of shelters that I can show you. One is a family shelter and one is a shelter for homeless individuals. So those are what these look like. Each shelter has different variations. Some of them have sleeping quarters, some of them have overnight programs where they set up cots. It's all different. For the majority, they all typically look similar, they just have different programs and stuff like that. For example, a family shelter might have a daycare system, where a homeless individual shelter, they may have crates for you, like your animals uh, to spend overnight in. It all varies. So yeah, so shelters are not that mysterious anymore. They look pretty normal. They're not this big scary thing. Not only can you search shelters to find one that you particularly like, but I will give you a list of shelters here that I visited that I know have volunteer programs, and you can check those out if you want to. So thanks again for tuning in to Socks for Souls. We have some really exciting stuff coming up. I've got some interviews with some super cool people. Basically, just keep watching our videos. Thank you again for tuning in to Socks for Souls, and I'll see you guys next week.